Good afternoon, Crossroads. Uh, just wanted to touch base with you this weekend. In a moment, I'm going to give you a couple updates uh, for this weekend and coming up. But I just wanted to briefly start with uh, just talking a little bit about Exodus chapter 14 for the Facebook uh, viewers. I encourage you to read that this week in light of maybe just finding some hope. Because I, I found it really comforting when you think about how the Israelites... They're pinned down with nowhere to go, and it looks like they're going to be defeated by the Egyptian army that's just closing in on them. They have the Egyptian army coming in on one way and uh, the, the river on the other side, and they're just trapped, and they have really no recourse. And, uh, and that's in that moment when so often that's when God steps in and does his thing. And I know right now it can be feeling like we're hard-pressed on every side and that there's nowhere to go and there's no sense of hope. But listen, God is a God of miracles and he is able to do the impossible that we could never even dream up of. And they didn't even know what it would be like for God to part the, part the river, for them to walk through on dry land and, uh, and experience that type of miracle. And yet that's what God did. I have no idea what the miracle is going to be, but I know that God is a miracle-working God and can do an incredible miracle, and he tends to do it when we're hard-pressed on every side. And I, I just hope to encourage you with that. Keep praying. Keep seeking God. Uh, let's just keep uh, really interceding for a really breakthrough so that um, we can see this virus defeated in the name of Jesus. Well, listen, I, I also wanted to give you a, an update and let you know this weekend we're uh, going to have an awesome service again online. It'll be streaming on Saturday at 5 p.m., Sunday at 8, 10, and noon. We'll also have a face or a YouTube link for that as well for you to, to view that way if you need to. But we encourage you to go through the live services if you can. Uh, that gives us an opportunity to interact with one another and I encourage you to do that. I mean, just to say hi or to talk to one another and just check in with each other. Um, it also gives us a chance to interact and to pray. And listen, I also want to encourage you, uh, send the link to other people. I mean, again, we were seeing that last week that more people were watching. Uh, we've done some really uh, better things this week than we even did last week. We've improved, so we'll keep improving every week. But I wanted to let you know that, and I have especially uh, important message for especially those who are unbelievers, and I really hope that they would uh, have a chance to hear this. So invite them, and you might be surprised sitting home being bored. They might actually tune in and, and watch it. So uh, use that link. Uh, just wanted to let you know there. The other thing I wanted to let you know, and we'll mention it for Sunday in the service, but the following week is Palm Sunday, and I had already ordered the palms and, uh, and some little crosses and stuff. And um, so we're going we're gonna to hand those out on Saturday. Uh, we're going to do that from like 10 to 11.30. And so if you want to uh, drive in and, and you don't even have to get out of your car, just drive in and we'll be ready to come out and hand you a palm branch. Not tomorrow, but next Saturday, the, the day before Palm Sunday. And we'll, we'll hand you a palm branch and, and the little palm crosses and actually communion as well uh, for next week. So you can take a, a handful of those things and home with you and so we just want to bless you also that's my last announcement and that is we're planning on doing communion every week even though we're doing this online so just maybe a heads up so this week maybe grab some grape juice and some crackers if you have them otherwise use something else and uh, we'll still uh, do communion together and it'll be a wonderful time but we really want to to have that element in our service still so we're praying for you. God bless you. We can't wait to meet with you again, uh, but we look forward to the time we have online and serving each other. So if there's anything you need, please drop me a line, but uh, we love you. God bless. Bye.